trying to give you guys a shot of the trailer behind the truck here and just showing you what it looks like as it's being pulled. You still get a little bit of a little bit of sway depending on the wind gust. If like you get a bunch of wind blowing on you, you kind of blow you around a little bit, so that causes a little bit of sway. But I made a couple of slight adjustments to the hitch in addition with the tires and I think it's doing a lot better now than it, than it was before. Can you feel it? I can feel it whenever the uh, whenever the wind hits. That's uh, that's what causes it sometimes. Is you'll get like a big gust of wind, you know, just wind just blowing. It blows it around. It's like a sail back there. I can't really feel it over here unless we go over a bump. I think that you haven't you haven't pulled the trailer yet, so no, you I don't really it. know the you don't really know what it feels like. Wow, you just shot at me. No, it's not a shot. I mean, you're not in the driver's seat holding the wheel <laughs> no, I know. and kidding. working the controls, so it's a little bit different, you know, sitting over there. Uh -huh. But I, I do know that we are making progress every time I make a modification. Yeah, it's doing better. It's doing a lot better. Show them what I did back there, and uh, we're going to keep improving it though. You're going to let me turn it on. I don't know if you can see any better in my mirror. I wanted to talk about a couple of modifications that I made to try to help correct the uh, a little bit of trailer sway that I've already mentioned in uh, previous videos. I'm trying to get out of the trailer when pulling it. So we've already made our uh, tire modifications and that's doing great, real happy with the tires. And it seems like every time that I talk about this, I have people that misunderstand me and thinking that I don't understand weight distribution of the trailer and having having the weight properly distributed causing trailer sway i'm not talking about you know deathly trailer sway where the trailer sway and back and forth anytime you pull a travel trailer you're going to get a some amount of trailer sway anytime wind hits the side of it or you got an 18 wheeler come up next to you it's going to you know disperse the wind around you and it's going to cause a little bit of trailer sway but there's other things that's going on that I'm trying to correct that's causing some of that little bit of trailer sway. It's just a little bit. Sometimes you get a little bit back there and I'm trying to correct that. So a lot of people talk about weight distribution. Everybody thinks that I put stuff on the back that's causing the trailer sway. It's not that. This trailer did that the day that I pulled it home, okay? I've got a lot of weight up here in the storage compartment. All of our storage goes and all of our extra things goes up here in the storage box so you got a lot of weight up here and also whenever we pack this thing out like abby's in there right now packing it out all of our extra things such as our clothes she puts everything in, in laundry baskets and we put all that into the front here in the front bedroom i put all of my uh, all of our computer gear camera gear everything extra that goes into the camper goes into this front bedroom while we're traveling okay so we're helping to add extra weight that we can to the front so we're not getting trailer sway that i'm mentioning because i've got extra weight on the back of the trailer you know the grilling utensils and the bicycles is not removing the tongue weight to cause trailer sway back there so i'm trying to make my point clear that it's not because of that so there's other things involved that i'm trying to correct so i've already mentioned this right here this hitch I showed this before and I've done a couple things to help correct it. So we, I showed you before where this insert wiggles tremendously back and forth in here. All right, so you can see a little bit right there. All right, see that? You see how loose it is in there? So I've added this set screw right here, which I'm gonna tighten back up. I'm gonna show you. You tighten that set screw up right there. I can just do it by hand. All right, and that will help eliminate some of this uh, slack between the two inch and the uh, sleeve right there. That's gonna tighten it up a lot, see? So I'm gonna snug that back up. The other thing I wanted to mention was this, this hitch system right here. So this is the Easy Lift R3 system. 
are weight distribution bars. You can see them right there. They go in from the top. That's how this one's designed. This right here is your anti-sway. So it's a clamp. There's a clamp with a brake pad material there that clamps around the center shank. And you tighten it with this bolt right here. And this is what you do. This is what you uh, use to correct the sway. You tighten that up and it tightens that clamp up. All right, and what I'm finding out is even with this tight, I've always run it with it tight after you get hooked up, you still get that little bit of sway right there. See that? Or a little bit of movement, should I say. So between this moving here and this being loose up there, that's helping to cause that trailer to sit here and do this minutely. But when you're looking way back there where this camper is, that's what's causing that trailer sway. That's part of it. So I added this set screw here. This is more of a temporary solution to see if my theories are correct. And it did so much better coming up here to Mississippi by tightening up this set screw to eliminate this little bit of movement here. And what else I'm doing is, you see how that moves there? What I'm doing is once this thing is hooked up, I'm tightening up this clamp. I'll tighten it up to where this clamp can no longer move like that. You'll pull this, it'll pull that all the way in to the center, the center bushing in there. It's gonna tighten it all the way up there to where you can't tighten it anymore. And that's gonna eliminate this piece from doing that rocking back and forth right there. So these two slight mods doing this, putting that set screw there, really helped pulling this travel trailer and keeping it from swaying down the road. So we're gonna to continue to work on things like this. I have plans to modify this shank here, this two inch shank to fit the two and a half inch class five to a precision fit so that it will not move around there when we're traveling. Well, I gotta get around this car first. <laughs> here I am trying to be the slowest person on the interstate. We're doing 68, 69 miles an hour. And guess what kind of car is in front of me going slower? Don't. Don't do it. Don't bash an entire. <laughs> it's a Honda. Just in case, just say it. It's a Honda. It's always a Honda that has to go 67 miles an hour so that you still have to go around somebody, even though you're trying to be the slowest person on the road. He has forbid me from buying a Honda. <laughs> Sorry, Honda. Not in our family. That's for the next guy. So the two little modifications that I made to the hitch has greatly improved the minor trailer sway that I talked about tightening up the sleeve you know with the insert going into the sleeve and taking out that much slack there's still a little bit there and then tighten up the clamp for the anti sway mechanism to where that sway that sway control is not moving back and forth a little bit or rotating just that little bit I, it's a huge difference plus the tires there as well so it's it's making a big difference and i'm going to continue to work on that because i'm just i'm watching i can look right down the side of that trailer and i can tell that it's not it's not doing that little fishtail because of the uh the loose hitch i don't know right. if you can see it it's hard to see probably with the camera mm -hmm. but i mean you still get a little bit with any travel trailer if the Anytime it's windy, which is usually windy on the interstate, and you get gusts, it's going to hit that. It's like a sail back there. And a lot of times, when a, if like an 18 wheeler goes by, you know, it kind of pushes you over a little bit because of that turbulence. But it's doing good. We're making improvements. We're making good improvements. And I'm going to continue making them so that we get little to no trailer sway back there. That makes you happy. All right, that's it. <laughs>